Hi, Alex here from developer.com and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I am going to show you how you can create a custom reusable UI button in Swift. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now why would you want to create a custom reusable button? Well, first of all, you want to create a custom button for your app because of course you don't want to use Apple's default UI button. And secondly, you want to create this custom button, a reusable button, so you can reuse it in your app whenever you want easily. So that is what we are going to talk about and create today. So let's jump into the code. Okay, as usual, we are going to start off with a brand new Xcode project. So let's create a new one uh, and I will create a single view app. Go ahead and take a look at the uh, playlist where I show you how you can create your custom uh, Xcode project. So, I will name this custom reusable, let it be UI button. Okay, let's click on a next here and I will create a new folder here. This row 227. Let's create this. Let me create a Git repository uh, on my Mac and I will push it onto my GitHub repository so you can take a look at it. You can find all of the resources down below in the description. You just need to click on the link in the description and you will be taken to all of the resources. Now, uh, I am going to create a button and place it on the screen, but again, constraints are everything and we are going to use tiny constraints. So let's close this and let me just uh, open up Finder and navigate to our file here. Uh, where our root folder is, open up terminal because as usual we are going to add tiny constraints via uh, CocoaPods. So let's create our pod file by typing in pod in it. And uh, next up let us just add that pod into our pod file. Let's add our platform to be iOS 12 pod tiny constraints okay let's close this go back to terminal pod install and that should install all the necessary pods well for now tiny constraints and finally let's open up our workspace from now on we are going to work in the xcode workspace because we want to use cocoa pods okay let's go to our root view controller and uh, let's see let's create our button here and first of all let it be a lazy var a button simple ui button and uh, let's add an equal sign here let button equals ui button and Let's return our button here and let's instantiate it. And finally, I'm just going to add all of this in the view did load. Uh, usually I create a setup views function, but for this button, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, view dot add sub view button. And finally, we want to constrain our button, but for that, we need to import tiny constraints. Okay, and I will constrain it to the top and give it a height. So, button edges to super view, excluding button, and let's say, let's add some insets here. So a dot top should be, let's say 36 plus sign left dot left. Uh, that should be like 12. And again, plus sign dot right. And the value should be 12. And using safe area, yes. 
So let's add in here true. Okay, finally we need to add our button height to be, let's say 50 will be fair enough. Okay, uh, what I want to uh, add for now is add our button's background color to be dot red, a real red background color. And uh, before we launch, let's add our views background color to be, let's say, dot white. Okay, and that is it. That is a simple button that uh, you are used to. And I don't know, I haven't watched the time, but it took about, let's say, three to four minutes to add it or create it. But again, it will take a lot more uh, once we add our customization to it. So let's see what this does. Well, basically we have <laughs> <laughs> nothing but a button without any title, it's just a red splash here. So, uh, good thing that it's in there, so let's customize this for now and then I will uh, subclass it so you can reuse this button anywhere you want in your app. But first of all, let us just simply customize it. Okay, uh, background color. Well, this red is kind of ugly. Let's add a purple here and that will be just fine. Next, let's add our buttons text and that should be, or rather yet, it's not a text, it's a set title. And the title text should be, let's say, push me, <laughs> really ingenious title here and for uh, the state of a normal. Okay, now uh, this would be black, but I want to set the button's title color, so set title color to be white, uh, total white, and uh, dot white is the UI color. For the control state, again, normal. Great. Uh, one final thing, or maybe not the final thing, but I usually do is set the font of our button. So font title label font equals UI font. And for now I would just use the uh, bold system font of let's say 60. Okay. Uh, for now, let's just build and run uh, by hitting Command R and see how this button is coming along. And you have learned quite a lot. Here we have our background color, our text, and it is white. Great. Now, one thing that these modern buttons have is a rounded color, so let's do that. And for that, we need to access our button's layer. And upon the layer, we have something called corner radius and that should be let's say eight the eight should be real fine and uh, again that is a cg float but uh, it uh, automatically detects that now if we build with build and run now we didn't wouldn't see anything and that is because we want to set the buttons layer masks to bounds equals to True. Okay, uh, you might have heard about mask to bounce on image views. Well, it does the same thing. If you have a corner radius, then it just clips the edges of, uh, in our case, the background in a UI image views case, the image views image. So let's hit Command R again and let's see how this button is coming along. Great, it looks really gay and I am quite impressed with it. One final thing that we need to add is a target. So what should we do when we tap on the button? So button dot add target and this is the last one. The target should be self action uh, hash selector 
And this will be as you already saw in the completion an objective C function and I will just say button tabbed. That is plain old simple and for the UI control event is touch up inside. Touch up inside. It's always touch up inside. Okay, now we want to copy this uh, button tabbed function name because it doesn't really exist so we need to create it and type in at objective c so objc func and i like to create our file fi these funks file private file private func because maybe there is another button tab somewhere else and we wouldn't want to um, access it uh, from another class okay so uh, i would just simply print out button tabbed great now let's build and run one final time uh, for this customization part and see how uh, this looks okay let me just tap on that a few times and as you already saw here we have our uh, prints for our console and that is it a pretty good button let's just take a look at it again great now uh, this this is for customization but what if we wanted to reuse this button well one thing that you could do is just simply copy this out paste that in there again and say button one and button zero and then go down here and add in button zero button zero and now let's constrain uh, first of all let's add our button our second button so view dot add sub view button one and now let's constrain our button again now with not to the super view we are going to constrain it to our button zero so button one uh, at top to bottom of and i would choose the other one top to bottom of constrainable is button zero offset say 12 and all of the other stuff is unnecessary let's constrain this to the left and right button one to super view to left to super view and i will choose this one so i may get the offset and the offset will be 12 using safe area yes true maybe we want to uh, rotate the device button one right to super view and the offset here will be minus 12 and again using safe area so true and uh, button one will have a height of again 50. now uh, what else do we want to add here maybe we want to change uh, the selector so button zero tab button zero tab button one tab and let's copy this out and have one and one okay and just to be real uh quick push me one and push me zero that would differentiate between the two buttons okay and as you can see we have quite a lot of code and it's not good if you copy and paste that much of code so push me zero we have tapped there and uh, let's just go back to our simulator and the button one tapped button zero one zero one 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 zero great now uh, as you have noticed this is not a good practice of code we have copied a lot of code 
and we don't really want to copy once we do know that all of the preferences for our button will stay the same well not all of it but most parts of it so what we want to do is create a custom button subclass so let's create our button let's create a new file first of all it will be a swift file and i will name this purple button okay let's create it and let's import ui kit here because we are going to subclass ui button and ui button is part of ui kit so let's create our class here the name will be purple button and the super class will be ui button return a string so let's type in init and you should choose frame and uh, let's type in here super dot init wait frame and it will be frame and that is required and of course the initializer init coder is also required so let's just add that in so we can fix this this is uh, required because of maybe you want to use this button in storyboards so it will be accessed by storyboards and so on but again this will always be required so there we go now uh, we could add in our customization under super init so let's just do that for uh, for a starter so what we want to do is simply let me just drag this up here and go back to the root view controller and uh, let us just copy most of this i will just leave out the target so let's hit or rather yet let me just copy all of it hit command c here or command x so we may cut it all out and add it into our purple button so under super init just simply paste that in there and of course because now we are inside our ui button we don't need to reference the button so i will just simply delete it and i will show you a cool little trick so hold on alt and just drag and and till you want all of your selections so alt again and drag it all out and delete everything cool stuff isn't it so uh, and that is it now we don't want to have our um, target here inside our button so we are going to comment that out for now and we also are going to well we are not going to comment out the title because we are going to set it later on but it is good to have it right now so let us create our two buttons with the purple button initializer okay and uh, uh, let me just go back to our root view controller and i will just simply replace the button zero to purple button and i will just add that in there and that should be it so let's build and run again and we should see the same thing push me zero push me one one after another and that is it um, if we tap on uh, push me one we have button one tapped but if we push on push me zero nothing is printed out in the console and of course that is because we have commented out the target so how do we actually uh, add that target inside our uh, custom ui button well we will create another initializer so let's just type in init and we will add in here a title and a selector so title it will be of type string and uh, uh, i will create this for now and add everything from here to there and just change string sorry about that it will be of type string and change the set titles title property to be title 
Of course, we need to add super init with frame and the frame. Let's just add dot zero because uh, zero, <laughs> if I could type in correctly, because uh, the frame uh, is basically constrained by tiny constraints in the root view controller. So uh, that is that. Uh, let's just take a look if this works. So root view controller, and this time I will create it with a title. So a button. If we hit Command B, we should have our completion. Let's hit Command B and C. There we go. Title. And I will type in push me custom button. That is the title of our custom button. Okay, let's build and run. And there we go. It still doesn't have any uh, uh, targets. So let's add one. And let me just go ahead here and just start typing in add target. And here you can see that the action is a selector. So the target should be self. But again, I would need to add in here our view controller, but I won't add it here. So rather than doing that, I just simply copy the target out from here and just simply add everything there. And of course we need to add now button because we need to add the target to our button. And that should fix everything. And now you only have two lines of code. Okay, let's build and run again. There we go. And button zero tap. Neat. Now you can go ahead and uh, refactor button one for yourself. So that is it for today. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And of course, hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos coming out. Now it is your turn. Go ahead and create your custom UI buttons and subclass it. And let me know in the comments down below how it went. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.